So now let's look at this example. The question is, what is 72 divided by 9? Okay, what is 72 divided by 9? So remembering our fact in our brain, division is the opposite of multiplication, and every multiplication fact can be reinterpreted as a division fact, we know that if we're asking 72 divided by 9, we can think in our brain, what times 9 gives me 72? So we would look at the multiplication table for 9. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 7 is 63, and 9 times 8 is 72. So we can see that this must be 8. And we know that it must be 8 because 9 times 8 is equal to 72. Okay. Now, just to again familiarize ourselves with the notation that we're going to be using later to a great effect, we know that we would put this number on the inside of our division house, okay, 72. We would put this number on the outside of our division house. And because, and because 9 times 8 is equal to 72, we would put the 8, not here over the 7, but here over the 2, like this. Okay? 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. Okay? 72 divided by 9 equals 8. Okay? Why? Because 8 times 9 is 72. Okay? Okay. Now, before I let you guys go from this example, first, we finish the example. Our question originally was 72 divided by 9. What is it? And we found that it was 8. Why? Because we knew this multiplication fact. 9 times 8 equals, 9 times 8 equals 72. Now we can ask the question, just for our own benefit, is there an additional multipli uh, division fact we can derive from this multiplication? I'm sure you guys already know the answer. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it would be that 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. Why? Because 9 times 8 is equal to 72. Okay? Okay. Anyway, so now I hope you've enjoyed this example and let's, let's continue to another one.